Hey, my name is Dr. Rob Franklin, and thanks for joining me on the Full Bucket YouTube channel. I just wanted to take some time to talk about full diarrhea, which is a very, very common problem and sometimes a very serious problem that can require intensive medical care and can even lead to death in the fall. So let's just back up and, and talk about uh, why this may occur and some different scenarios that you need to know about and so you can know how to react. So the the first thing is that uh, foals are born uh, with a couple of situations that predispose them to diarrhea. The first is, is that they don't have a, a functional immune system and they have to get that from the mother's milk or that first milk that we call colostrum. That colostrum provides the antibodies that are there to attack uh, invading bacteria and viruses that can cause disease. Now, a foal's immune system will begin responding as soon as they're born, but it just takes several months for them to ramp up and produce all those antibodies. So if they get the colostrum, then that can really help protect them from, from disease. The other situation that's going on with the foal is that the entire intestinal tract is a blank slate. So it's like a petri dish that you might see in laboratory that would grow bacteria. It is ready for bacteria to grow there. There are natural bacteria that are gonna be beneficial in allowing the, the horse to digest its food, but they're not there yet. And so it is that Petri dish that is an uh, open opportunity, equal opportunity employer for both good and bad bacteria. So um, part of the, the challenge there is to make sure that you're getting a healthy population of, of good bacteria in the intestinal tract. Okay, so, we understand that the foal's got two potential um, issues that uh, can predispose it to diarrhea with the immune system and with the, the lack of a, a normal uh, flora, a microbial flora in the gut. Now the first week of life is, is particularly the week of life where we have foals that we have to do intensive care, uh, that develop joint ill, or that uh, even have to, uh, that they can die. And, and so that, that first week of life is where that infection that starts in the intestinal tract, just where the foal is um, always seeking out um, the udder, it's, it's exploring its environment, and it's taking in bacteria. Those bacteria go in and they invade the intestinal tract and they cause diarrhea. And while they're causing diarrhea and invading the intestinal tract, they can also make their way into the bloodstream. And that is where we start to talk about a foal being septic or having bacteria floating around its bloodstream. Those bacteria can eventually lodge into joints, into bones, into the growth plates, and that's why you see this problem that we call joint ill that's very common in the first week of life. Very serious, affects uh, athletic prognosis, and uh, it's very expensive to treat as well, and we can't always uh, even get the infection under control. Some of them are, are just uh, too aggressive of an infection. So, um, having that, that first week of life, noticing that the diarrhea takes place is a, a sign that things are not right. And you need to react very, very aggressively if you're seeing uh, diarrhea in that first week of life. Now, at a time about seven to, to 12 days after foaling, the mare will actually come back in the heat and that's called foal heat. Most of you know about that. But what also happens during that seven to 12 day period after is that the foal's intestinal flora begins to um, develop itself and, and the foal begins to develop some very transient, uh, self-limiting diarrhea in most cases. And this is the type of diarrhea that you may see. Uh, again, look for that seven to 12 day window, but in order to know it's foal heat diarrhea, I want you to think about several things. One is make sure the foal is bright and alert and nursing. So the ears are up, it's nursing aggressively, it's playing, it doesn't feel bad, it doesn't have a fever, uh, and that <clears throat> also the, the gums are nice and pink and they're moist. Um, they're, um, there's no swellings in the joints or the bones or anything like that. So the foal for all intents and purposes looks normal and the diarrhea is occurring seven to 12 days after uh, birth that tells us most likely that that is full heat diarrhea and we can treat that symptomatically, okay? So we're gonna use things like the ADD Bioclay Plus to help uh, get the diarrhea under control and we're gonna follow that up 
um, with some full probiotic after we've um, got the diarrhea under control. And that just helps uh, normalize or stabilize that intestinal tract. Now, if you're dealing with the former situation where we're dealing with actually infections, then you don't need to self-treat those. Those need to be managed by your veterinarian and they need to be managed aggressively. That includes um, using uh, broad spectrum, uh, potent antibiotics, and it includes um, treating the intestinal tract and also managing any dehydration electrolyte abnormalities. So this gets way complicated, way quick, and if you don't jump right on it, uh, you can lose the bowl or, or be in for a very serious uh, intensive care visit. So um, you want to not play around with those one week old babies or less, three to five day especially, uh, that start to get flat. They uh, may start sleeping more than normal, sleeping standing up, milk's hitting their forehead as they stand underneath the udder, the mare lets out milk, but the foal's not nursing. Um, they may have a temperature, they may actually have a low body temperature, so typically a foal is um, considered to have a fever over 102, uh, but sometimes they'll be having a temperature that is um, well less than a, a hundred, so maybe in the, in the mid to uh, high 90s, and that would be a sign that their circulation is slowing down and that, that they can't maintain their own body heat. So um, high or low temperatures is going to be a sign you've got an infection. Uh, the behavior that we mentioned and then the diarrhea can oftentimes be bloody uh, and you can see just tremendous volumes of fluid. The eyes will begin to get sunken whenever they get dehydrated and if you lift the lips and you look at the gums, the gums actually uh, are very dry to the touch and the color may go from that nice rosy pink to a very injected dark red uh, color or even um, kind of a purplish hue which are all very serious signs that there's a problem. So. Um, the key is to recognize the, the difference between the two, and sometimes your veterinarian has to help you make that. Uh, and sometimes we have to run some lab work and some other diagnostics to help understand which of the two we're dealing with. And then you need to be proactive in trying to prevent these problems. So how do we do that? The best way to do that is to start off by putting some immunoglobulins or antibodies into the intestinal tract as soon as the foal is born. We do that with the bull bucket bull kickstart. And so you provide a half a tube whenever they're born and six hours later you give them the other half the tube. That lines the intestinal tract with these antibodies that can bind any uh, potential bacteria or viruses that, that the foal ingest and not allowing those to actually cause infection. So um, that's step one. And then we want to support that, that normal microbiome or microflora that's developing in the intestinal tract by laying down a number of healthy uh, microbes in there before the bad ones can take over. So it is a numbers game and we like to put um, our foal probiotic into the foal starting at day two and we give them a half a tube uh, twice a day. And that's gonna populate that intestinal tract uh, with those healthy microbes and we continue that for the first week of life. So day one is the kickstart and days two through seven is the full probiotic. And by doing that, you're going to take a step uh, in, as far as getting ahead of both uh, severe uh, bacterial or viral diarrhea in the neonate and you're also going to mitigate or minimize the effects of any full heat diarrhea that may occur. So let's recap. We've got two situations. One is very severe with foal getting uh, a, a infection, it causes diarrhea in that first week of life. The other is foal heat diarrhea that typically occurs seven to 12 days of age. Uh, in the former, the foal will appear sick, it will be listless, its eyes may be sunken, its gums are dry, it may or may not have a fever. The diarrhea is characterized by being bloody or extremely high volumes. And then the, the latter with the full heat diarrhea, the foals can be bright alert. Everything's gonna look normal, but they are, their stool is, instead of pasty, it becomes more liquidy, okay? So make sure that you're aggressive with speaking to your veterinarian to let them know what's going on, to seek their advice and their treatment before things get out of control. And then take those proactive steps as far as preventing the problem from occurring by going ahead and starting to use the kickstart and using the full probiotic uh, immediately whenever the foal is born. So foal heat, diarrhea, septic foals, those are big problems this time of year and uh, I think if you arm yourself with some some knowledge and you know what to look for and you know some uh, prophylactic steps you can take, you're really going to have a much much better uh, 
bowling season this year. So uh, thanks for joining us on the YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and, and like, and uh, head on over to fullbucket.org to hear more about our story about being good and doing good.